All right, get ready for a really rushed build video. I now have two afternoons to do the beetle weight combat robot that I said I was going to do with the clamp design. And that's too late to order any components or um, really do any intensive design work beforehand. Things got away from me. This is not gonna be the best representation of that horizontal clamp idea that I had, but I'm gonna to try to get something together really quickly. I've got like eight, 10 hours total. We'll see what I can make of it. So I'm going through my junk and this is the configuration I have settled on. I have no brushed speed controllers, so this is the best I can do. Uh, the brushless motors are going to be the drive motors. They'll be one on either side. I have no gear reduction for this. So I'm just gonna have to coat the motor body in something that can grip. This is terrible, but I'm gonna go with it. The battery and the brushless motor speed controllers will sit in the middle and the two brushless motors will be on the two sides of the clamp. These two servos will control the clamping motion. They'll both be wired to the same channel, so they both clamp at the same time. The failure point will be the little servo horn, which will join the side of the clamp to the middle body. This is not a good configuration, but again, I have no brushless, or sorry, brush speed controllers, so there's nothing better that I think I can do. And I've got no um, gearboxes for gear reduction. So we're going with this. All right, so as I design parts, I'm just gonna 3D print them before having the final design. So hopefully my image in my head ends up matching reality. The front right claw is shown there. This is going to hold the drive motor as well as the servo. Servo clicks in there, drive motor gets screwed on there, and the wires for the drive motor actually route externally and the wires from the servo will come out that little spot there. I'm using Alloy 910. It's supposed to be kind of difficult to print with, but it seems to be laying down okay right now. For the drive wheels, I need some grip, so I just took the tread off this Lego wheel and it seems to work. Uh, but I only have one of these wheels. So that's just an excuse to buy a Lego kit. Alright, time to test out all of the electronics. That's a robot, right? This is nearly uncontrollable. That test kind of just showed me what I expected. These brushless motors are really twitchy and fast. And to compensate, I think I'm going to make the right hand side of my controller just do forward and backwards. The left thumbstick will do turning. And that'll mean I'll be able to accelerate directly towards an opponent without accidentally like drifting or spinning in circles. Maybe that'll help a little bit. It looks like it's pulling up off the bed, so I'm going to restart this print with a raft and less glue stick. The internet told me that an enclosure around my 3D printer will help with warping, so ta-da! It's done! Hey! Not bad! So here's that first 3D print with the servo and the drive motor attached. Last night I 3D printed the electronics housing on the left side, those both worked, I had to sleep in the hallway because the printer was too loud though, and now I've just got to get the carbon plate installed onto the housing. design has one big fatal flaw and that is these arms will break off if hit by a vertical weapon. And I can armor the arms as much as I want, but that's not going to prevent them from breaking off if they're hit really hard. So I need a type of armor that will prevent the, um, the teeth of an enemy weapon from getting a good bite on these arms. And my idea is these guys. Maybe these will keep blades from being able to get a good bite on my robot. You want to see the really embarrassing failure of these, uh, these little bristles? All right, here we go. That's right, the wheels actually lift off the ground when the... Uh, 
when the bristles are closed. So it needs wedges or something so that when it clamps, the uh, weight of the opponent robot ends up onto the wheels. Because right now this isn't acceptable. Although it is kind of fun to drive. Another problem I was having was when the servo was stalled, the receiver disconnected. So now I have a battery elimination circuit with the red wire going to the red wires of the servos. That way the servos are not drawing any current from the receiver. All right, this is the end of the second day and it drives. I have not glued these on yet. I will do that tomorrow morning. It'll dry during the workday and then it's finished and I go to the competition. Apart from getting these super thin control wedges glued on, I have an eyeball and that completes it. So those two pieces or those three pieces will need glued on and then it's good to go. This thing is not invertible. This thing is, there's so many things that are worse about this than I would like. Um, I don't think it's a great representation of this idea, but it's, it's done. I'll film some driving around once the wedges are on and I'm going to bed.